Ah, yes. The Zega Dreamcast. With a faulty optical lens. We have all been there before. The Dreamcast cannot read the disc properly. Now, why does this happen? And I've been looking at some guides how to fix this problem. Some people say replace the optical lens. However, I want to try a more simple solution. Let us disconnect the Dreamcast for now. Hi all! My name is the Game Mistress, you know me as Teresa, and I love to fix old retro hardware. You probably know me from Twitch, where I stream all kinds of different retro games, and you kind of know that my humor is kind of batshit crazy. Well, today I'm going to take one of my most favorite consoles and fix them. Before we do that, I'm going to disconnect the power supply unit and pull out the, the, <laughs> the Sega Dreamcast controller. Because let me tell you something, if you don't do that, you're going to short circuit the motherboard of the Dreamcast and break the little thingies that control that you can no longer use your control on the Dreamcast. This is white. A very beautiful Dreamcast which with a very faulty optical lens. Now, can we fix it just with some simple alcohol? I will teach you how. Let's do this. Well, welcome to my very, very messy desk. Yes, I had a lollipop yesterday. So as you can tell, I have another Dreamcast. That's yellow. Yellow is my Dreamcast I use for streaming. Because as you saw, white has sadly a lot of issues. Now, the tools I bought to fix this, this is 95.5% isopropanol alcohol. There is almost no water contents in this one, and this you need to fix, to do the fix today. Because if you're gonna put water on an optical lens, you're gonna probably leave some dirt or markings and you're just gonna make things worse. Now, the story about this Dreamcast is, it was left... Well, uh, here, it was left in a cupboard for many years in this position here. So it gathered a lot of dust and dirt. The lens is that little eye you see right there. Do not touch it with your hand. I'm going to try to fix it just by taking a bit of alcohol, putting it on a Q-tip and try cleaning it. Because I have a feeling that the lens itself is completely fine. It's just it's just a bit too dirty. I mean, I do see a hair there, to be honest. So Q-tips time. All right. Probably I should also clean the disc afterwards, just but that would be what you can do. So this is the disc. I'm going to put that away. It looks very clean. I think my other Dreamcast had no problems with it. So just going to put that there. And let's niche go. Ugh. That didn't do much. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and I got all my hands. Fantastic. Now, let's see, this will be enough to fix it. So you probably can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to clean it very carefully. Making sure we get all the dirt. It is a bit dirty. And you have to make sure it's fast drying alcohol, which I have. That's why the high percentage. Is there a way I can show you guys? Like that. Because mm -hmm. I think the problem is coming from the lens itself. I really hope this is the fix. Cause it's whoa that is dirty that is so dirty it's not even funny the thing is the dreamcast has been in the cupboard for years meaning well meaning it has just gotten a lot of dirt can't read properly it's just not working as it should. I really hope this is enough just to fix it because 
Truth be told, truth be told, I have never taken a Sega Dreamcast apart to such an extent that I had to replace a laser. And the Dreamcast is actually not a common console at all, meaning I have no clue if parts are easy to come by. I really hope this will do the trick. Okay, let's see how that looks. Well, it gets that does look clean now. <laughs> Alcohol even cleaned my hands. <laughs> Oh, that stuff is strong. Woo! How to clean your nostrils. So remember, I'm going to teach you now how to put your controller back in the Dreamcast. You do not want to put plug this in while the power is on. You never want to do that. That's bad. You're going to break your Dreamcast if you do that. Because Zega have done a stupid system with two fuses in the front. I mean, if you do break the controller, you can open it up, do the poor man fix, and just twist the fuses. And then probably it will work again, or you'll have to do some soldering. And I am not ready to do some soldering just yet. We'll get there someday. Let's go in, go in. I, I hope I can get another power cable for it. I think this is the same as the Saturn. Okay, disc. We just have a good look at the disc. There's a hair on it. We don't want hairs on the disc. Now this disc looks, looks very good to me. I don't see any scratches. I see a tiny bit of dirt. But that shouldn't be the problem. I mean, I was playing Jet Set Radio on yellow, which is my yellow Dreamcast with a very broken disc. Nothing happened. Well, nothing bad. Let's make sure everything is properly in. In. Now the thing that worries me about this Dreamcast The memory card unit's not making any sound Well, let me switch my camera to the Elgato There's no point for me to do that, the internal battery is gone I can once do a video to show you how to replace that Ugh, this is bad This is bad Okay, he really doesn't want to read, does he? Okay, this video has now changed into how to clean the Sega Dreamcast. I could be doing this completely wrong and I could be breaking the whole thing. I'm not looking forward to that. I've... A Dreamcast has some screws, just like any other console. You actually have one, I think you also have a screw in here. I just could get this damn thing open. Oh, can't you open this part? Don't think you can. Well, this has been many years ago. I mean, I've opened a Dreamcast once and I don't understand what the problem was. So let's just have a look what's wrong with him. Why he is being such an a-hole. Why he won't work. Because the news I got is not good. Shame though, I mean I got him for free, but hey, lesson learned, free stuff doesn't always mean it works. We did get some life in it before, but I don't know why it got worse over time. To those who do not know, I'm rather a noob when it comes to repairing stuff, but I enjoy to share my passion with you anyways, because I want to teach you how to... Sh okay, is that, is that it? The screw was probably here. Ah, yeah, there's the fourth screw. So you can take this apart. That's, that's the modem. We don't need the modem. I don't think the internet services on the Dreamcast even works anymore. If, I, if I'm wrong, please just leave it below. Okay, let's have a look. Mm-hmm. 
There you go. There you have it. A Sega Dreamcast. What is wrong with you? Why won't you read? Now, remember the fuses I told you about, that if the controller breaks? Well, that one and that one. These two. You can twist them. And then they'll work again. You probably don't see it so well. And that one there. And that one. Little blue one there. But that's not the problem. The controller works fine. What isn't working is the optical drive. For this fix, you want to push the lens all the way back. Like that. You don't want to touch the lens. You don't. Don't touch the lens. And... You see these cables here? They normally are stuck behind these two black levers. You want to carefully lift them up with your fingers and put the ca cables out, and I'll show you why. Lift these cables up. This one be very careful. Because you don't want them to break. Of course, when you're done, you'll be lifting You'll be lifting this up, like so. Now, this is the flip side of the optical laser. I don't know if you can see it on this video, so I'm going to pinpoint the location with a screwdriver. This is a flat-headed screwdriver. And right here, you see a little red... You, you don't see the red thing here. Well, I'm going to see if I can show it to you. You see that little red dot? Now, at the red dot, there's a silver screw-like object. Now, you have to turn that to the right, so clockwise, because over time, the thing turns to the left. You just have to just turn this very carefully to the right, like I'm doing now with the screw. And just make sure the laser doesn't... Well, now it did, of course. Just make sure to lay... You just hold your finger there, like I am, and you just turn. Turn the plating around. Like that. So it is very gently. You don't need to turn them a lot at all. Because that could have been the problem. So you just turn that one very gently, then you put the laser back. And then I'll show you how I'm going to put everything back into one piece. There were no screws. I mean, you see some screws here. Do not touch them. You do not need to do anything with them. The only screws you have to worry about were the four screws that we took out. And I'm going to show you how to put them back in. We're going to reassemble the Dreamcast. Like so. Now, we have four screws. I know you see some two, some extra screws here. They're from a different console because I do not have a soldering fiberglass thingy or silicon mat yet. That's free. Mold them, put the mold them back in. I don't think I'll sadly will be ever. To... I'm an idiot. I forgot to put the screw in. <laughs> ah! Hold on. You need a bit of force. Oh, come on. Stupid thing. And I see I did another boo boo. Alright, we're going to. There.
Screwing things is not my talent on why you're not going in. Wait, there's a... Because I'm an idiot, that's why. There we go. The final screw down to the do. The final screw down. Okay, that's that. Done. Put the damn old one back in. Now we're going to put the uh, dream cast. This dream cast needs to be cleaned. I'm just curious, of course. This is the outcome. He's going to see how old uh, he's very dirty. I will take a cloth and clean the dream cast later. I mean, there's a reason why we call him white. Put the game in. Hit myself with the controller because that's always fun. Put the cable in. Put that in and then we'll start them up so I'm going to put my other webcam on let's see maybe I can make the drawing cam actually smaller thank you OBS yeah OBS is a bit of an ass put them here awesome and then we're just gonna start them up. That sounds much better. That really sounds good. I mean, it, it's a complete day and light scenario from before when we started them up. That sounds like a healthy Dreamcast. Besides, the battery is completely dead. Beautiful, it's starting up. As you can tell, it's actually not hard to fix a Dreamcast optical drive. You just need some patience. Yes, there's a reason why I didn't put the memory card in. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He's actually working. See? Beautiful. There we have it. We have a Zega Dreamcast wide. That's completely working. And if you compare it to I mean, look, this is my other Dreamcast. It's completely yellow. I think you can see why I wanted to fix white. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I am not sure what the next video will be. It depends if I get the tools. I hope the next one will be me fixing an NES game. We have successfully together fixed the Sega Dreamcast. We used... As you can see on the camera, we use these tools. We use them. And we use the alcohol. I can put the links below where you can buy the stuff. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and like my weird sense of humor, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click on the little dingy dingy so you know when my next video goes live. And I'll catch you guys next time.